We are in the basement where it all started, where it all took place. There was a, a, a point where I didn't have a place to stay. And then so Lenny let me live with him because I didn't have anywhere else to go. Originally I was supposed to get a job and I, I was just like working on music all the time. So it was kind of this unspoken thing that I'm just, all right, you're working on music, but it ain't working out, you gotta get a job. We eventually talked about it and I was like, man, just give me like one year, just give me one year. And after that year, if it doesn't work out, okay, whatever. And almost damn near to the day, I signed with Def Jam and he quit his land surveying job in 12 years and we moved to LA to work on the album. All this doesn't, it didn't look like this, first of all. This is like the worst paint job, which is epic. And this is great. This is a beautiful paint job. And it's crazy, because when you look at the cover, you can see, you know, very similar blinds to these, except ours were all f***ed up. <laughs> so I would sit here, and the mic would be set up here, and I would have, like, pillows and <laughs> Like, all types of different stuff to try to, uh, you know, soundproof it, because there was no, I mean, we couldn't create a booth, and... I didn't have enough money to pay for a long enough wire to stretch to anywhere, which is like really insane. I think I knew after I created uh, Under Pressure, the song, and then that gave me the idea for the album cover because the entire album is about the come up, you know, and many of it does take place in the basement as well in just that time. I originally wanted it to be one of the pictures that was taken down here, and there was many pictures that were taken down here, and the quality was very poor. I was on the internet you know, I was going through different artwork to get inspired and, and I found Sam Spratt who's out of Brooklyn. I gave him different pictures of what it looked like where the television was or where we were. And then from there, um, he pretty much outlined everything. What would happen if, if, it, if the deal never came? And I don't know, it's hard to know. Like, I feel like maybe music would have been a part-time thing. I think I'd have been happy because I would have still been around the people I loved but I would have never been this happy.